Halloween is fast approaching, folks, and you know what that means. An onslaught of sweet, sweet candy. An onslaught of sweet, sweet candy. An onslaught of sweet, sweet candy. There's no way to say this line and not sound like a creep. An onslaught of sweet, sweet candy. Oh, right off the bat, I couldn't even do it. <laughs> You know the drill. Whether you're scouring the neighborhood to collect your haul or handing the good stuff out, one way or another, you're ending up with a ton of sugary treats. At first, it's great, but you get a little overindulgent and you get sick of it pretty quick. Candy. It's the first thing that comes to mind when I look at the C8 Corvette, because it's an indulgence. It serves no purpose other than to delight. It's an amazing rush. And I want to drive it until I get a stomach ache. Is it too much of a good thing? Let's find out. The Corvette has been firmly established as a classic American dream car for quite some time, regardless of which generation you're talking about. Thanks to its power and aggressively sporty looks, it's become a shorthand of sorts for excess and fun. Though it's changed significantly with each iteration, the C8 Corvette is its most dramatic shift, moving the engine from the front to the middle. Traditionally, this is a layout that does wonders for overall handling due to a number of factors, not the least of which is superior weight distribution. With that said, even with the C8's striking looks, power output, and overall performance, I don't think it's too much car at all. Powering the current Gen Corvette is a 6.2 liter V8 that whips up 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. That's plenty of grunt to be sure, but it's never delivered in a way that's more than the car or the driver is prepared to handle, outlandish driver behavior notwithstanding. The Z51 performance pack ups the quality of the drive, adding aero bits, better tires, and a small bump to power output providing even more control for the car's upper limits. Before you even reach those, however, the Corvette is sublime and smooth. The car is balanced all right, and inputs are playful and encouraging. It's a very complimentary car to a driver's style. That balance, driver-centric cockpit, and front windshield visibility makes the C8 Corvette feel like a jet fighter. Just remember to avoid the barrel rolls. There are a few minor quality of life complaints, like the lousy parking cameras and the poor layout of the interior cabin, but nothing that would be a deal breaker. So it's a treat with bits you avoid, like raisins. But too much? Nah, not at all. For what it offers, it's not even that expensive compared to its competition, starting at around 60 grand, which can grow to around 80 with options, but that's still a relative bargain. The recently revealed 670 horsepower Z06 iteration will certainly take things to the next level, but in its standard form, the C8 Corvette is a sugar rush that's hard to get enough of. No tricks here, just a big old treat. <laughs>